What is the significance of the number 40 in the Bible? The number 40 holds a profound symbolic significance throughout the Bible, recurring in various narratives as a period of divine testing, preparation, or judgment. For example, Noah's Ark endured 40 days and nights of rain during the Great Flood, symbolizing a time of purification and renewal for the earth. Likewise, Moses spent 40 days and nights on Mount Sinai receiving the Ten Commandments, signifying a period of intense divine revelation and preparation for the covenant relationship between God and the Israelites. Additionally, Jesus fasted for 40 days and nights in the wilderness, facing temptations from the devil, marking a period of spiritual testing and preparation before beginning his public ministry. Overall, the number 40 represents a transformative journey, purification, and divine intervention in the biblical narrative. Who was the youngest person to be mentioned in the Bible? Josiah, the son of King Ammon, holds the distinction of being one of the youngest individuals mentioned in the Bible. Despite ascending to the throne of Judah at the tender age of eight after his father's death, Josiah is celebrated for his remarkable devotion to God and his commitment to religious reform. His reign, chronicled in the biblical books of 2 Kings and 2 Chronicles, is characterized by his efforts to eradicate idolatry, restore the worship of Yahweh, and renew the covenant with God. Despite his youth, Josiah's leadership exemplifies wisdom, righteousness, and courage, earning him a place among the revered figures of biblical history. How many books are in the New Testament? The New Testament consists of 27 canonical books, authored by various individuals over a span of approximately 50 to 100 years. These books encompass the life, teachings, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, as well as the early history and teachings of the Christian Church. The New Testament is divided into several genres, including the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the Acts of the Apostles, the Pauline Epistles, letters attributed to the Apostle Paul, the General Epistles, letters written by other apostles and leaders, and the Apocalyptic Book of Revelation. Together, these writings provide a comprehensive narrative of the Christian faith, doctrine, and practice, serving as a foundational text for believers worldwide. What is the longest book in the Bible? The Book of Psalms holds the distinction of being the longest book in the Bible, comprising 150 individual psalms or hymns attributed primarily to King David and other ancient composers. These poetic compositions cover a wide range of themes, including praise, lament, thanksgiving, wisdom, prophecy, and royal coronation. The psalms are revered for their lyrical beauty, emotional depth, and spiritual richness, offering believers a source of comfort, inspiration, and expression in times of joy, sorrow, or uncertainty. Psalms has been cherished by worshipers throughout history as a timeless reservoir of prayer and praise, reflecting the diverse range of human experiences and emotions in relationship to God. Which biblical figure is known as the father of faith? Abraham, revered as the father of faith, occupies a central role in the religious traditions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. His story, chronicled in the book of Genesis, portrays him as a model of unwavering trust and obedience to God's promises. Abraham's journey of faith begins with his call to leave his homeland and journey to a land God promised to show him, despite facing numerous trials and uncertainties along the way. Despite his advanced age and the challenge of childlessness, Abraham believed in God's covenant promise of descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. His faithfulness was epitomized by his willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac, in obedience to God's command, ultimately demonstrating his unwavering trust in God's providence and faithfulness. As a result, Abraham is celebrated as the patriarch of monotheism and the exemplar of faith for believers of all generations.